He was shot and killed in the line of duty. Now today, loved ones and police from all across the state will come together as Brackenridge Police Chief Justin McIntyre is laid to rest. We turn out to Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Lily Coleman live at the Ross G. Walker Funeral Home in New Kensington. And Lily, we've seen the community give its unwavering support for McIntyre's family and brothers in blue over this past week. Ryan and Michelle, good morning to you both. Ryan, you're exactly right. The signs of support we've seen really over the last week and especially in the last two days have been unwavering. You can see Chief McIntyre's police cruiser outside of the Walker Funeral Home this morning. Now, over the last two days, we've seen hundreds of people, friends and strangers alike, coming to pay their respects to this fallen officer. Chief McIntyre, of course, being remembered as a devoted husband and a proud father. Many we spoke with over the last week say the chief was always about helping others in his hometown, a hometown that he loved so much. And it's clear to see that that love was reciprocated. Now, similarly to what we saw earlier this week with the visitation, today's funeral services, which are set to begin at noon, are expected to draw law enforcement not only locally, but from across the state. So the public is invited to line the procession route this afternoon. Here's a map of that route. It will take Freeport Road to the Tarentum Bridge. It will then travel through the borough to Freeport Road and end at Mount Airy Cemetery. Now, again, as I just mentioned, that funeral service is set to begin at noon. We will have full coverage for you throughout the day. For now, reporting live from New Kensington this morning, Lily Coleman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.